Hi, now here we have an example on discrete random variables that uh, you might like to try. We've got the discrete random variable x can only take the values 1, 2 and 3. And for these values, the commutative distribution function is defined by f of x, which equals x cubed plus k, all divided by 40. For values of x equaling 1, 2 and 3. And in part A, we've got to show that k equals 13. And in part B, find the probability distribution of x. And then finally, in part C, given that the variance of x equals 259 over 320, we've got to find the exact value of the variance of 4x minus 5. So, to start this, let's just remind ourselves what we mean by the commutative distribution function f of x. You should be familiar with the fact that f of x equals the probability of any random variable x being less than or equal to an observed value x. So let's just highlight this. This is an idea that we're going to need throughout the majority of this question, certainly in parts A and B anyway. So that means that when we're looking at f of 3, let's just say since f of 3, what would this equal? f of 3 would be the probability of x being less than or equal to 3. In other words, the probability that x equals 1 plus the probability x equals 2, plus the probability that x equals 3. And we know that if we're using all the values, the sum of all those probabilities comes to 1. So f of 3 should equal 1. And that means that, therefore, we can substitute x as 3 in here and get, therefore, 3 cubed plus k, all divided by 40, must equal 1. And if we multiply both sides by 40, it follows that we've got 3 cubed, which is 27, plus the k equals 40. And if we subtract 27 from both sides, you're left with k equaling 13. Now in part b, we need to find the probability distribution of x. So in other words, we've got to form a table, a table with, say, our observed values x and the probability that our random variable x equals each of these observed values. And those observed values are going to be 1, 2, and 3. So we've got 1, 2, and 3. Now, to get the probability that x equals 1, well, that's going to, in fact, be f of 1. f of 1 would be the probability that x is less than or equal to 1. And since it's the lowest value, it's going to be equal to the probability that x equals 1. And therefore, we just need to substitute 1 into the formula here. So you're going to have 1 cubed plus k. k is 13 divided by 40. So 1 cubed is, is 1, plus 13 is 14, 14 divided by 40. I'm going to leave it as 14 over 40 rather than reduce it down to, say, 7 twentieths. OK, I'm just leave it like that. 14 over 40 then. Now, when it comes on to the probability of x equaling 2, how am I going to do that? Well, the probability x equals 2, let's just draw a line just to separate this. The probability of x equaling 2 is going to be equal to f of 2. Now that's not quite what it's going to be because f of 2 gives us the probability x equals 1 plus the probability x equals 2. So we need to subtract from this the probability that x equals 1. Now f of 2 then is just a question of putting 2 into here and we've got 2 cubed plus k which is 13 divided by 40 and from this we subtract x equals 1 14 over 40 so that's that so what have we got here 2 cubed is 8 8 plus 13 is 21 21 fortieths take away 14 fortieths leaves us with 7 40ths. So if we put that in here under the 
2, we've got 7 fortieths. Now we know that all the probabilities should total 1. So 14 fortieths and 7 fortieths is a total of 21 fortieths. And so that leaves us with 19 fortieths to make that up to one whole one. And there's our probability distribution of our random variable x. OK, now for part c, let's just come down here. We're given that the variance of x is equal to 259 over 320. And we've got to find the exact value then of the variance of 4x minus 5. And to do this, it relies on this principle, OK, that the variance of, say, a constant times a random variable x plus or minus, say, another constant, which I'll call b, is always equal to a squared times the variance of the random variable x. As for the constant b, that just goes out as 0. So you should be familiar with this idea for questions like this. OK, so putting that idea into what we have here, we've therefore got the variance of 4x minus 5 is going to be equal to 4 squared times the variance of our random variable x. And so we've got 4 squared, which is 16. 16 multiplied by 259 over 320. And if you work this out, what you end up with is 259 over 20. All right. So hope that's given you an idea if you're stuck on how to do this problem. Okay, 